Now I want to share with you, um, it's another Diamond Select. This is the Starship Legends series, like I told you guys earlier, the other video from the Wrath of Khan. This one is actually the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. This is the High Definition series from Diamond Select. And this is really, really cool. This is my actually, well, this is my favorite Enterprise. Um, I love the original series, it's my favorite, and the original Enterprise just holds a special place in my heart. And this is the, again, the Star Trek Starship Legends USS Enterprise NCC-1701. Electronic Starship from Star Trek, the original series. And features, uh, features all of the following phrases. Let's see if I can read this. Prepare to attack, all weapons, full power, Kirk to Enterprise, and it's got authentic sounds from the TV show. The box art is pretty cool. Let me show you the back. You can see that. I'll put video, uh, pictures up too in the video. And it shows the deck plans um, for the Enterprise, corridors and shafts and everything. Um, <clears throat> shows you again other things from the Diamond Select the different phasers, the communicator, the tricorder and I have those and I'll make those in other videos um, this is the Star Trek USS Enterprise NCC-1701 in 1966 Gene Roddenberry approached NBC with a show he described as Wagon Train to the Stars what he accomplished was beyond even his dreams a phenomenon spanning over 40 years, five long-running series, and 11 feature films. The fictional voyages of the USS Enterprise may have spanned the galaxy, but Roddenberry's ideas moved the entire world. The Starship Enterprise has become synonymous with Star Trek, launched in 2245. The Constitution-class USS Enterprise NCC-1701 is perhaps the most famous starship in Federation history. Under the command of Captains Robert April, Christopher Pike, and most notably James T. Kirk, the Enterprise was responsible for making first contact with a variety of intelligent species, making scientific discoveries, and even defending the entire galaxy against hostile forces. Whether traveling through time or engaging Klingon battle cruisers, the crew of the USS Enterprise exceeded the expectations and continues to boldly go when no man has gone before. So that's some of the box art. So I'll go ahead and I'll take it out and I'll set it up and I'll show you guys what it sounds like. All right, so I go on and put it onto the stand. And um, this, this is a very, very awesome uh, display model piece for me. Um, it's got all the detail. It's the high definition detail. And let me give you an idea of what it does when you push the button. I don't know if you can see all the lights. The transporter sounds, the nacelle lights up, the bridge lights up, and you got the running lights on the saucer section. Got the red alert. And kind of zoom in on it for you guys. It's really, really cool. Photon torpedoes, and it comes with the um, it comes with a stand, and it's got the same as the other Enterprise, where it also has the alternate bottom. If you can see that, where if you want to keep it off the stand, maybe display it, you know, hang it. But this one does come with a stand as well. This one's a little easier to put in, whereas the Wrath of Khan one had the ball and socket and it was a little harder to put in. I didn't want to force it, so this one um, has the stand and the cells light up. It's really cool. And with this one, if you hold the bridge dome down for five seconds, the lights come on. The running lights, the nacelles, and it'll stay on until you push the dome again um, to deactivate it. But let me turn it around for you guys. It's just really, really amazing. The detail is awesome. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Um, 
Again, this is just an amazing piece. I'm uh, really excited to share this with you guys. This is my favorite, favorite starship. Um, the USS Enterprise NCC 1701, and this is the high definition, the Diamond Select. Um, so you can see the detail. And this is one of the really, really, really awesome ones. The Wrath of Khan one is nice too. Um, the only issue would be that the plastic was pretty translucent and all the light, um, I don't know if say light pollution came through. With this one, it's a darker plastic and the lights don't really bleed through and it's just, um, it's just really cool. I'm happy to have this um, display. And this is the Diamond Select Starship Legends series, NCC 1701. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.